Today's video is a continuation of my Welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. If it's your first time of coming across this channel, please consider subscribing, like the video, share the video and do leave me a beautiful comment. Right, so today's video is a continuation of my last video. If you've noticed, I traveled to Liverpool to renew my British passport and I had to, I had to appear in person because it fast track one week renewal and surprisingly my passport got to me here in Manchester in less than a week of my application and this is what the passport looks like just like so totally a different color there is something I noticed that is different from this new passport if you take a look at the top here this one it says here just British passport and you look at the bottom here it says United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland whereas the old one says here yeah, European Union of Great Britain and Northern Ireland so, so the difference between this old one and the new one is that European Union so this is a new British passport it doesn't have the European Union um, logo on it because Britain is no more part of European Union that is why anyways what do I think about this new passport is the color good compared to the old one mmm will I say this versus this which do I prefer anyways so this is a British passport is a 10 year valid passport with this passport I will not have the kind of liberty I had when they were still in whereby I can go in, in and out without any issue, whether my passport is remaining two weeks or one month, I can easily travel. But now, to travel to any European country, you need at least valid six months. If I'm traveling, for example, now, I will have to go to all passports, which will take a little bit of time for me to pass through. So if I'm on transit and there's too much long line, there's possibility that maybe I might miss my flight, okay? So that is the difference here. And also there's something I also read about, um, you know, the new British passport and before and now. Before, it is easy for you to go into any European country, even if you have a two months valid um, British passport or month valid um, British passport, you can just buy your ticket, jet off to any European country if you want to go for holidays or to see any of your family members you can have you know one month valid on your passport but now if you're jetting out to any European country you have to have at least six months valid passport that's one disadvantage anyways it is a decision of the British people to leave EU they have their reasons so it's fine but I'm so proud of this new passport and I'm ready to jet out anytime soon. So applying for a British passport or renewing of British passport, it's got process, okay? So if you're renewing, if you're renewing a British passport, it's quicker because they already have your details on the system, okay? It's just for, for you to do verification, just like the one I did. I had to appear in person because I want a fast track. But if I wasn't applying for a fast track, I'll just go online, fill the normal standard ways you can apply um, for your British passport. So let's talk about the renewal first, then we'll talk about the first timers. So um, if you want to renew your British passport, you have um, three options. You have the premium one. With the premium one, you will need your two passport, current passport. You will call and you book an appointment same day okay and you pay double what you're supposed to pay so it's more costly and a fast track okay you will need to fill in an application form that one you get from the post office then you take it along if you're looking at the fast track one say you have a month or two weeks to travel and your british passport is expired and you need it urgently you can apply um for a fast track one as well which is the one i did that takes a week so what you need is the same thing as the first one so you need two current passport you need a filled in form you get that from the post office 
you book an appointment and pick a date okay on that day you have to arrive before the time if you arrive some few minutes late there is every possibility that you will lose your money and you will lose your appointment that means you have to start all over again so this is very important and the third one is the standard one okay the standard one is the one that you just apply normal amount no extra cost you apply online or you do the paperwork okay so if you're applying online all you need to do you follow these steps you have to have your two current photo passports okay if you've taken that passport from the photo store or photoshop they upload two of your pictures on um home office website okay and they give you a code as well so when you apply there's a section in the application that will ask you do you want to upload digital um passport and all you need to say is click yes but once you click on yes it will ask you of that code so that is the code you will put online and automatically your passport is uploaded on the system now this is for renewal and it takes about 10 weeks if you're doing standard so if you're planning traveling in less than 10 weeks I would advise you not to use that process for those people applying for the first time it's just the same process you will need to look for someone to can to sign for you whether you're an adult or a child because this is the first time you are applying for your British passport so you need to look for someone that can come to sign for you and you have to go through the standard process to do that okay you don't have to look for the person physically to come to sign for you they made it easier now that you can do it online all you need to provide for home office all you need to provide is the email of the person that's all and let the person know that you use their email though. so when home office writes them or send them an email they'll be able to certify you that they know you if you don't tell them if you don't tell them and home office sends email to this person and the person is like no that means everything does scatter scatter for you it's going to take you longer and they're going to start looking you know this they're going to start looking investigating this that that so you need to get someone to certify for you and you need to let the person know so these are the different ways of applying for a british passport i wish i could get you know get a laptop and demonstrate for you how you can apply this physically but i'm going to be leaving a link for you on how to apply or renew your british passport so you can follow that link read the instruction it's just as easy as a b c okay there is also guidelines to help you with your application it's just very easy very I'm very so happy easy. that my passport is now here and i'm happy over happy and i can't wait to jet off to switzerland if you stayed up to this point thank you remember to subscribe subscription is free just, just click on that red button and turn on your notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you will be notified i would love to hear from you what do you think about the new passport color and the old passport color at this point i will say thank you again and i'll see you in my next video bye bye